So today we're going to rebuild the Colorado Rockies, who've actually kind of surprised me this season. Their pitching, not bad, especially the bullpen. The bullpen looks pretty good. And then, of course, the offensive numbers. You've got CJ Crone. You've got Randall Grichik and the other guy, Connor Joe. Whoa, who expected that one? So with that being said, let's get into it. So, of course, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content. And of course, in the comment section today, I want you to tell me that one team that's been super disappointing or that one player that's really let you down this year. For me, I'm looking at the White Sox and I'm going, it's a slow start. There's been some injuries. There's been a couple hiccups along the way. But man, they have really just not gotten off to the start I was expecting from them. You know, you look at the team. Robert is healthy. Eloy was healthy to start the year. And then you looked at some of the additions that they made. I feel like that was a team that could have done really well in the central, but it just it's just not going too well for them this season. So let me know that player or team that's really kind of disappointed you this year. So when we talk about this, we, we want to talk about the Rockies. Obviously, we're in a Rockies rebuild. And when you look at the pitching, for pitchers in real life with Colorado, you got to expect a little bit of inflated numbers, right? You're, you're playing in a super elevated um, location and cores, you know, and that's that's just what you got to expect. Herman Marquez coming into his second to last year in his deal, and you're going, ah, man, we need to see, need to see something, right? You know, you look at the numbers for the previous years, and they're not they're not terrible. Again, you're playing in an elevated stadium, you're going to expect kind of inflated numbers. This year, he's gotten off to a really slow start, so hopefully, he could turn things around. Gomber, Sensatella have looked pretty solid so far, and then. There's a couple of youngsters that you could look forward to. The guy that I'm kind of the most high on in their farm system is Jaden Hill. The big question mark with him is injuries with his arm. So maybe if he can stay healthy, there's a there's a chance they might have something special there. When you look at the bullpen, the bullpen this year in real life has actually been decent. You look at Bard, I think Kinley, was it Kinley? That was pretty solid this year. Yeah, Kinley's looked pretty good. You look at Justin Lawrence, who's kind of got that like side arm, not submarine, but like kind of a uh like a yeah like a sidearm motion estevez has looked pretty good so there's a couple bright spots in that bullpen also so like for the most part not too bad right we were some of your pitches are doing pretty good elias diaz extended i was it this offseason they extended it for a few years i know they also extended senzatella when you look at first base they brought back cj crone who's been absolutely mashing the guy just hits it extremely hard Second base, there's a little bit of question mark surrounding Brendan Rodgers. You look at his numbers last year and you go, okay, maybe he's starting to put it together. Hasn't really had a full season up until last year, but this year, oh man, is it looking bad. And then you look at some of the other numbers for like Garrett Hampson, Garrett Hampson's numbers. Um, I know he's on the IL right now, but his numbers weren't fantastic before that. Ryan McMahon, someone they extended, you know, I think is a, is a pretty decent pickup. You know, they extended him. It wasn't too big of a contract. For the future, not bad. Pretty versatile. Can kind of play all across the infield minus shortstop. Jose Iglesias, pretty decent bat. Not, again, not a power guy, but he's been, you know, pretty good. His on-base percentage is almost 400. His, his average, I mean, he's actually having a pretty decent season. So for a one-year, maybe two-year guy, not bad, not bad. Left field, KB, I know, just went on the IL with a back issue. And it hasn't been the same KB. He's been lacking those home runs. You know, the OPS is low. The average is decent. The slugging's low. On base percentage is a little bit lower than usual. Just not the same KB. So what's going on? Maybe it's just the, the back that's just been bothering him for longer than what's been kind of publicly known. But it's not the same KB. Connor Joe, on the other hand, woohoo! Man, this guy's been... This guy's... Like, I don't want to say he's come out of nowhere, but this guy... This guy's putting up some good at-bats. He's killing it. Randall Gritchick, another bright spot in the lineup. You've got Daza, and then, of course, Charlie Blackman, Sam Hilliard. And Charlie Blackman, I'm, I'm looking at his numbers right now. They haven't been too bad. Four home runs, you know, average on base percentage a little low. But you know what? Not bad. Not bad. So looking at this team, I think for this year, it's, it's a team that doesn't look terrible. I think it's a team that won't be competing for a playoff spot. But at least they've got some pieces that they can start to build around. So let's get to the draft. Let's see what we can do for the future. All right, let's get into the draft season one. We have the 10th pick, the 10th pick. What do we got going on here? And for the most part, I'm seeing those names and I'm going, hold on, was that guy's name Roosevelt Cook? That's a name right there. That's a power name. I see that guy and I go, you know what? He's meant to be a pitcher. He's meant to be a pitcher. All right, what do we got? Two closers. Sadly, we're not going to take them. Boone O'Neill. I mean, I think he had the look too. Yeah, that guy's, that guy's lights out. I could see Rich Gross. Ross, jeez, oh Rich Gross. We've got him there. Center fielder, Danny Ramos. I'm sold. 
I don't I don't even need to look at the rest of the picks. I already know I'm going Danny Ramos. Danny Ramos, I am sold. He is that guy. And he was a blue chip, right? I mean, there's is there any reason to look at anybody else? No. We're going Danny Ramos. That guy looked insane. He is 22, but six foot three, great fielding, great speed, decent hitting. Yeah, get him into the team. I'm gonna take Terrence Arnold next. I like the fact that his hits per nine are super high. I looked around at a couple others. Ooh, Domingo Lopez, actually. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a shot. I'm gonna take a shot on what was his name? Terrence Arnold. A little bit. Oh, we do have Lopez scouted like a little bit higher. But I want to take a shot. I want to take a shot. Maybe Lopez makes it to the next round. Does he? Did he? Domingo Lopez did. Oh man, did we just win the lottery? Are we? Is this the rebuild where like everything's gonna just fall right into place? Everything's gonna go well? And we're we're lucky is that what's gonna happen i'll take a shot on this guy i don't feel too good about it but we'll take a shot and i think for the last two picks we'll just do like a little quick fire where we just kind of go you know what yeah this guy's the move this guy's the move we'll do that mohammed Payne. and last pick what can we get what can we get what can we get we'll go with geo robinson sure let's go let's go take a look and see how we did as a whole Ooh, 73 overall the power numbers the fielding the speed and the stealing numbers. Ooh, I like this pick. I like this pick a lot. 22, so he should be a year or two out just based on his his age. You would think he's a little bit more polished than other players. 89 potential, 83 potential. And then mid 70s for what? Fourth and fifth round picks. That's that's solid. That's a good draft right there. So at the deadline, we're about five. Oh, we are 500 actually. And like I said, I don't I don't think we're a playoff team this year. And that's fine. That's fine. Where are we? Ooh, five games out actually that's not terrible it's actually not bad well let's let's kind of see what we're we're rocking for the team okay so pitching pitching <laughs> pitching's a little bit of an issue that's a, that's a clear need for sure we've got a couple also decent arms but it's 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 obvious that pitching is a need and looking at it connor joe's killing it charlie blackman's killing it chris bryant brandon rogers is killing it okay cj crone McMahon. Wow, who's our hitting coach? Extend him for life. He doesn't leave the team. He does not leave the team. Holy cow. What is going on here? Anyways, so I think pitching. Pitching is the big issue. So where do we go from here? Who do we look to add? How do we try to improve this team? Do we have anybody down here that could potentially help us out in the near future? I mean, it looks like it. Also, Coco Montes. I need to look up this guy because one... That's a that's a that's an insane name. All right, let's see how he's doing in the minors because if he's a baller, we're calling him up. He's he's okay. He's okay. We'll just he's all right. He's all right. So um, I think offensively we're looking pretty good. I think pitching's the big issue. The thing is, do I do I full send it, trying to make the postseason this year, or do I kind of like I don't want to say coast, but like just kind of maybe look to improve the team for next year. Maybe get a little. Maybe get a couple young arms that can help us out for the future. I don't know. I don't know. I think, do we full send it? Do we full send it for this year? I just, I'm trying to think like, who are we competing against? Because we're not, we're not going to win the West. Like we got to, we're, we're eight, what, 16 games out in the division. Like that's pretty tough to begin with. We could try to be a playoff team though, by the wild card. So Aaron Savale, team control for a couple years. I'm kind of interested. Let's see what we can get. They want to catch her. We do have two okay catchers. First base, I don't really want to get rid of anybody here. Right field or left field? Hmm, let's see here. What about, I want to keep Zach Veen. Second baseman, do I have a second baseman? I'm okay, give it up. Maybe like Hampson? Hampson's pretty bad. Will they take Hampson straight up? Uh, deal, deal, so easy. And then now let's just try to find a, a replacement for Hampson. All right, so the Reds apparently acquired Jeremy Pena, but you know what? I want to get a shortstop for the future and see if it works out. Try out some new players that I have in franchise. So we're going to acquire Jeremy Pena for Chad Cool, Alex Calame, and Cade Harris. So there we go. All right, so this is how the team lines up after those moves. Bullpen, no changes. I just want to see how this plays out for us. We're going to have Savale jump in. We'll just throw him in right here for now, just because that's kind of how our rotation kind of sits. And then Ty Block comes in for Jordan Sheffield. And then offensively, Pena comes in for Iglesias. And that's it. I think that's it, right? Yeah, that should be it. Let's finish the season. 
So 80 and 82, honestly, not a bad year at all. Like, I'm okay with that. What did the Rockies finish last year? Let me take a look. They finished 74 and 87. So an improvement, a slight improvement over the previous year. And so I'm okay with that. Right, 22 games out in the wild card, we finished around the same area. So I think I think the big thing for us is going to be pitching. Pitching. That's what I wanted to say. So team rankings, where are we ranking offensively? Where where are we? Are we in the top half? Am I blind? We're ranked seventh in batting average. For runs, we were 25th. Okay, so that is something we gotta take into consideration. Not a lot of runs being scored. What about hits? So were we just not produce? We weren't producing runs, but everything else was happening. What? Okay, so tenth in doubles. Not worried about triples. Home runs. Okay, so we are towards the bottom in home runs. Oh wow, are we twenty seventh for home runs? Runs batted in. I'm assuming we're pretty low if we had low runs. Twenty fifth. Okay, so we just weren't scoring runs. So that's a big thing. That's a big thing for us. Um, let's take a look at like pitching really quick. Kind of get an idea of where we are as a team. ERA, we were 13th. Okay, so we're in the top half. So that, that's that's something we can work with. It's just, okay, so we weren't we aren't producing runs. So that is something that we gotta keep in mind. Bryce Harper is our MVP, along with Rafael Devers. I shouldn't say our because we're the Rockies. Bryce Harper doesn't play for us. The MVPs, Devers and Bryce Harper. You've got Peralta and Cole winning Cy Young. Batting title goes to Trout along with Brian Reynolds. Edwin Diaz. It's out Chris Martin and our Robert Stevenson for the reliever of the year. And then I didn't mean to do that. I meant to go to the AL, who was Tyler Wells. Had a pretty good year. Pretty good year. 79 strikeouts. How many innings? 79 strikeouts in 57 innings. David Bednar is nasty. Yeah, he is nasty. He's a nasty pitcher. But 79 strikeouts in that many innings? That's impressive. How many did Edwin have? 79 and 57. Okay. And then set okay 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 Seiya suzuki is your rookie of the year along with shane baz okay okay all right let's take a look at our team how did we finish the year anybody that i should look at oh, i didn't call up justin lawrence all right so that's someone that we got to keep an eye on for next year that we could call up ty block not bad actually i'm looking at those numbers it was only 30 innings but not bad not bad kinley okay all right what else we have bard was was okay he is re regressing though so i think we'll, we'll look to use somebody else gilbreth i mean i'm looking at those numbers those are great uh fernandez struggled a little bit 11 innings kind of tough to judge him on that estevez only pitched two-thirds of an inning and then robert stevenson was pretty solid pretty solid indeed and then looking at our starters first two were great sensatella as a three maybe a four not terrible he has an extension 10 10 mil honestly it's not that much money we got Savale, who's looking strong. And even Freeland, not too bad. So if you look at it, we're probably looking maybe something like this. Maybe, yeah, one of these two is our two. And the rotation, not terrible. Uh, honestly, I'm I'm okay with working with that for another year and kind of seeing where we stand. Hilliard, minimal appearances, but in those appearances, wasn't fantastic. Iglesias, wasn't great. Dom Nunez, not terrible, but not great. Trejo, kind of just there. And I, I mean, we, we clearly need run producers. I think we need a leadoff guy. I think that's something that we're missing. Um, Connor Joe's potential went up, which is awesome to see because this is a guy I think we can use in a multiple, a multitude of positions and just could be a really good piece for us. So I think we've got a, a good bat here. You know, McMahon, solid, but only 52 RBIs. So yeah, RBIs are a clear issue. Runs being scored, clear issue in this team. Chris Bryant, pretty solid year. CJ Crone. Pretty decent year. You'd like to see the OPS a little bit higher, but overall, not too bad. Brendan Rodgers, again, okay. Not bad. Pena kind of sucked, <laughs> um, but is he improving at least a little bit? Hopefully, he does improve over time. Richick was, again, kind of in the same range as what everybody else is doing. We're getting home runs. We're getting extra base hits. We're just not bringing in the runs, which is a big issue. So, I think a leadoff guy is definitely needed based on what i'm seeing here i just don't know what position maybe oh i don't even know where we where what i would look to improve maybe center field maybe shortstop but we have pena so do i drop charlie blackman to the bench because like his numbers were okay but they weren't great I, it's, it's a big question mark and i think 
also pitching needs an upgrade as well probably in the bullpen so the dodgers defeat the mariners let's get to the offseason see what we can do here so with this in mind what do we do what do we do what do we do hmm i think we let i think we let iglesias go i think that's the move there go like that and then now we see how much money we have to play with all right, so for this season, I was looking at our budget, kind of seeing whose contract expires. We've got Gritchick, we've got Blackman. So I think this is another one of those years we just kind of coast. And I don't mean like, let's just try to lose, but I think coasting is the best because there's quite a bit of money that comes off the books after this year. Armand Marquez, CJ Crone, we've already talked about Gritchick and Blackman. So that's like what? There, there's That's almost 30 mil. We're close to approaching 40 mil. That's opening up after this year. We still have Sensatella McMahon. And Chris Bryant on the books but 40 mil is quite a bit of money like that's at least one big signing potentially two decent signings in free agency and it just depends on how Marquez does maybe we bring him back I think that's that's a name that most likely of all of those names that are becoming free agents that's probably the one that I'm looking to extend out of all of them so I think I think this is one where I just look to add maybe maybe like some platoon guys, maybe a bullpen arm and just kind of play it play it low key this offseason just because I'm still liking what we have offensively. I'm still liking what we have pitching wise. I just don't want to invest a lot of money knowing that we could potentially make a big deal next year and then kind of go from there. Plus like I'm I'm looking at it like <sighs> hmm yeah, I think I think we 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 play it safe this year. Let's 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 maybe add maybe a younger bullpen arm that might progress over time and i doesn't really see i don't or it doesn't really see it doesn't really seem like there is one that i'm like too interested in like 30 is not bad so like archie bradley potentially what else whitgren whistler or weisler we've got fulmer what else we got going on here i mean like edwin diaz but like i don't know like a pitcher could potentially be an option I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I still, I just, I just don't really see anybody. You know, I would like to get ooh, a lead off guy, a lead off guy. I think that's something that we could look to add to the team, but who, who, Brandon Nimmo. I mean, that's, that's like the, the exact player that I'm looking for. I just want an on base machine. Like that's literally what I'm looking for. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Yep, that, that's that that's what I'm looking for. Like that I'm looking for a guy with a high on base percentage. I guess Adam Frazier, but like I just don't think he's gonna hold his rating. I, honestly, that that makes the most sense. Brandon Nimmo. I think that's our signing. I, I think it is. Let's do like a three year deal for Brandon Nimmo in the range of holy cow, 17 million is a lot. I just said I didn't want to make a big deal. We'll go 18. If he takes it, great. If he doesn't, that's perfectly fine. I feel I feel like that's that's the move. That's that's my only move this offseason. All right. Marcus Stroman for Cattell Marte. That's a big pickup for the Cubs. And then on top of that, I just saw Aaron Judge went to the Nationals. That's a big move. Edwin Diaz goes to the Dodgers. I've seen that quite a bit in franchise. We can't sign anybody. So that means I can't sign Brandon Nimmo, which means I got to see if I want to release anybody. Who is someone? I think he can go. Did I sign him to? All right. Sorry. You can you can go. Did I sign? I didn't get Nimmo. All right, let's go back to the deal that we offered him. What was it like 17 mil, 18 mil that I offered him? We'll go 18 exactly. Three years, 18 mil. If he takes it, he takes it. If not, we'll have to wait and see. Let's see what happens. All right, let's talk about this team. So pitching wise, it's left the same. Bullpen though, I did sign one guy from, actually no, it was a pickup in the rule five draft. I signed the Cubs reliever Manuel Rodriguez and we'll see how it goes i don't expect much but he had b potential i thought you know what let's take a chance on him if it doesn't go well it's fine it's really similar to what we already had in the bullpen so i just wanted to give it a shot someone a little bit different and plus with that b potential there's a chance that he grows and actually turns into a decent reliever nimmo was the signing he did take the deal for 18 mil essentially replaces the contract that we're paying charlie blackman so i, I don't want to say a like for like replacement but it's someone that you know what we paid that kind of money and even though I said I didn't want to spend big this offseason, this is basically what we're doing. We're letting Charlie Blackman walk. We're bringing in Brandon Nimmo. That, that's kind of what we're doing. We just did it a year earlier than I wanted to. So we do still have a couple bigger, bigger contracts um, coming to an end. Like Randall Gritchick is one that will be leaving this year. That's 10 mil. And then I just got to figure out what I want to do with Armand Marquez. Is he a guy I want to keep in the future? Kyle Freeland, CJ Crone, there's a couple there, a couple relievers also. 
And I think the catcher spot is an area where I'll look to maybe go a different direction, right? Like Diaz isn't really making that much money, but at the same time, I feel like we could get someone that makes around the same amount of money and does a little bit better. So let, let's see what this season brings us. We're ranked 26th. I'm not expecting too much, but who knows? We could be a surprise team. I'm going to take this right fielder in the second year draft. We're going to go Juan Guzman. I mean, just super well-rounded. I think that's the right pick. I'm going to take this guy because we have him scouted, Guillermo Perez. He is going to be low rated, but those power numbers already look great. So might as well take him. Maybe he could be a DH for us come the end of the rebuild. And I think the last pick I'm going to show you is Matt Salazar. He might be terrible, but who knows? That was round three. Let's go take a look. What did we do for the draft? So 84 potential for Guzman. Super well-rounded right off the rip. I'm actually pretty happy with that pick. Like that's that's pretty good. Like and he's a switch hitter. I didn't realize that at first. 79 potential for Perez and then 76 for Salazar, who's already a 72 overall. So could could be a little role player for us in the next couple of years. So first three picks, not bad. All right, this season's a wash. We we are regressing a lot. And I don't know what it is, but our offense is garbage compared to last year where we actually had some respectable numbers. We're no, we're not doing that. Like averages are low, OPSs are low, on base percentage is low. Like everything that was like decent last year is really taking a hit this year, which is a huge disappointment. Like big time disappointment. So I need to make some changes to this team. I don't know where, but I definitely do. I think I think just any player who's having an okay season that may be leaving us next or like this year slash next year, I think it's time to make a move. So Gomber is having an unbelievable year crazy good year but you can see he's already regressing so we've probably seen the best from him and as good as he is i feel like we could probably get something a little bit better right so i'm looking to see maybe a young oh nate pearson's available oh any other b potential guys laying around that we can maybe pick up that are doing well like i'd, I'd prefer for them to be in like like <laughs> triple a the majors but like i i take a shot on uh I, I take a shot on nate pearson and it's a straight trade oh they're willing to give me a little bit more what about this guy has he pitched all the majors no he's not doing great why i mean his numbers his per nines are a little little wonky could i also get like catcher for the future like moreno or another position player for the future like Jimenez anything honestly I'm just looking for anything at this point Ooh, I mean maybe another maybe another pitcher like a lower lower pitcher kind of something same thing as what like what we have here maybe like Murray how's Murray doing not bad or I guess we could take a reliever we do kind of need a reliever so I'll, I'll take this guy why not we'll take him so Danner and Pearson for Austin Gomber I feel like that's not a bad trade and I have a feeling we're gonna make a couple more um Marquez is also going down so do we cash in on Marquez and we just say like this is like the complete change like everything's starting to flip a new chapter I guess that's what we're doing I guess we're completely completely changing up the squad besides the guys that have already been extended like Senzatella, McMahon, Chris Bryant or like kind of the new guys so I guess Marquez might be out the door and Ron Marquez is going to the Astros for Luis Campusano just straight up that gets us the catcher that I was looking for which means Elias Diaz is probably out the door I know he was ex I mean I guess I could make him a backup I guess I could and then we get rid of Dom Nunez who just really isn't doing much so who else someone i mean these guys are bad but we're also bad and they're probably not coming back next year charlie blackman's having an okay year randall gritchick is not having the best of years um i mean like do we just kind of like just say that like they're gone and like just not really pay attention to them tj crone's someone that again not having the greatest of years but i mean i probably could cash in on him um montero looks like a, an okay first baseman I just don't know i mean if gritchick leaves we got nimmo right field is a bit of a question mark we do have this guy ramos who looks good but definitely needs a little bit more time so i could use maybe a stopgap guy maybe even a third baseman depending on how mcmahon performs so i think this might be just a pickup or do i just maybe get a starter i gotta find something though all right, I'm going to pick up John Means. I don't know. I've, I've looked around all the different pitchers that I could get. And honestly, I, there's not a lot that I can get. I don't think John Means is going to improve too much more. But he can kind of sit towards the bottom of our rotation. 
and give us something. I noticed Robert Stevenson is already starting to decline in overall as well. So I'm going to trade him, Daza, and Dom Nunez. There's one trade. I'm going to trade Estevez and CJ Crum for DJ Hurst of the Cubs. I think he's going to be more of a reliever over a starter. But dude's nasty in real life and uh, he throws lefty. So I think he could help us out. Not this year, but maybe in the future. Realistically, I'm just getting rid of everybody that's becoming a free agent this year. Trying to find prospects slash almost MLB ready guys that we can throw into the team. Because this year was terrible. All right, Sixto hasn't pitched in the majors this year. So I'm going to pick him up from the Marlins. For Gritchick and Ty Block. There we go. So yeah, uh, team's bad, right? When this is the lineup now, Montero got called up. He's our first baseman for the time being. Camposano at catcher. Honestly, it's not looking great. Ooh, you know, some players are already regressing as well. Charlie Blackman was kind of expected, but the big one I'm worried about is Ryan McMahon. Not ideal. Connor Joe's not all like also not having the best of years. And then when you look at our pitching now, it's a completely different rotation. Mine's just minus Senzatella. And even him, I'm like, man, we're paying him 10 mil to be complete garbage. So there's that. Bullpen's kind of hit or miss. We've got a couple new guys that are going to get a chance. But wow, this went a lot worse than I thought. I saw the first season. I go, you know what? We're about 500. We've got some good pieces. And now I'm going, this team's terrible. We didn't. It didn't go to plan at all. I thought, let's just see how this year goes. It can't really go that much worse than last year, right? And boy, was I wrong. So yeah, let's finish off the year. And this is like a completely new team. 73 and 89, definitely a step back from our previous year. And it makes sense. You know, I'm, I'm going to look at the team rankings. I already know we're going to be, we're going to be at the bottom. Like things are going to be towards the bottom. Runs 20 seconds. We actually moved up, right? I think that's right. It's towards the bottom. Like it's, it's, it's clear. Offense is an issue. I'm assuming itching is as well. You can see the MVPs there along with the Cy Young winners. Batting title is Mookie Betts and Mike Trout. Liam Hendricks and Josh Hader are your relievers of the year. And Nari get traded again? He did. Okay. Um, and then Diego Castillo and Ryan Noda are your rookies of the year. All right. Hitching. Freeland becomes a free agent. And after making 7 mil, which I realized after, after I offered him arbitration that he was making that much, that, um, yeah, he's probably gone. He had a decent year last year, but... I'm just, I'm not going to pay him that kind of money for him to just be garbage. Uh, Peter Lambert, his 17 innings wasn't bad. Um, I don't think he'll do that kind of numbers next year. But again, it was 17 innings, kind of tough to judge him. Gilbreth Breath definitely took a step back from last year. Um, ERA jumped up quite a bit. Um, that's the big thing. But overall, I like the numbers. I think maybe we, we signed him to an extension. I think, I think we'll just kind of hold on to him, see how he does. Ooh, not bad. Not bad. Okay, so so far so good. He didn't get to pitch. Fernandez did a little bit better than last year. He pitched a little bit more, so maybe that's a sign. Just give him more innings. He'll definitely provide the provide the good innings in the bullpen. Kinley was solid, and then Rodriguez was okay. I might give him another shot, see how he does. And looking down here, how did our bullpen arms do here? Lawrence did fantastic. Smith didn't pitch. Bowden didn't pitch. So we still got a couple couple arms that we can look for in the future jd hammer with the goggles or the glasses whatever you want to call him he's down there as well Savale, one more year of arbitration we'll, we'll see what happens i don't know if he's really going to improve that much more so we got to figure out what's going to happen there means is already regressing which sucks uh sensatella was garbage six those young nate pearson's young so we've got a couple decent young arms to look forward to so at least i have that to look forward to but outside of that i don't know I really don't. This team was such a letdown this year that like it's kind of a huge, huge bummer, huge bummer. Nimmo was the on base guy that we needed. It's just we didn't really have anybody that was behind him to do what we needed to do. You know, you can see Chris Bryant was good. Connor Joe was OK. You know, McMahon was a big disappointment compared to last year. Charlie Blackman wasn't terrible. Actually, he was pretty solid. I don't think I'll bring him back, but he was good. Uh, actually, first lefties, he's really good. If he wants maybe like six mil, I'd consider bringing him back. We've got Brendan Rodgers who took a step back as well. It just seems like, actually, let me take a look at his numbers again. 26 home runs is a big jump. He just struck out more. That's kind of the big thing. Okay. Okay. You know what? Not as bad as I want, like I initially thought. You know, you can see Jeremy Pena, the numbers went up, home runs, all that stuff. This is like the first full season with him. So it like... We just we got to take it with a grain of salt here and like we've got i got some questions i got some questions like where where do we go from here like clearly we we don't have any run scores 
clearly we don't have any like on base machines besides Nemo or Chris Bryant. I mean, we've got these these youngsters down here. Can I have faith in them? Also, pitching's a big issue too. So there's that. Um, so we got to figure out what we want to do there. Astros defeat the Brewers in the World Series, and now I think how much does he want for a year? Oh, he only wants like three mil. You got a deal. I'll three point five. We'll do that 3.6 and then the other two can walk 3.6 is not bad and that guy mashes lefties that's exactly the perfect type of platoon guy i'm looking for all right let's add doyle here what do we have wow he's a defensive oh man okay so he's a guy that i might look to trade just to find someone a little bit better with the bat because the fielding is great but outside of that it doesn't really offer us much more okay yeah, let's bring everybody back. We have about 80 mil, which is around the same that we had last year. Let's see what we can add to this team. I'm going to pick up Nick Lodolo from, or Lodolo. I always forget which one it is. I'm going to pick him up from the Reds for Sensatella and Lambert. I, I just, I, I, I wanted to give him a shot. I just don't have faith in Sensatella. I just don't think he's going to be the guy. So I'm going to pick up a nice young pitcher. And now this is kind of what our rotation looks like. It gives me a little bit more faith in our rotation moving forward. Our bullpen wasn't wasn't too bad last year. It really wasn't. So I think rocking with our bullpen is still fine. I maybe look to improve it by getting an arm, but I think that's okay. Looking at our our long reliever, it could be Feltner, it could be Kaufman, maybe DJ Hers. I looked at his numbers this year. He looks to be more of an opener, and that's kind of what I like know him from from being in the Cubs organization. He's got four starts in the minors for 14 innings, so you can kind of see he's limited to about like three-ish maybe four innings to start but um i think that's kind of what we're looking like there so potentially bringing someone to be a long reliever i think the bullpen's okay and then looking at the offense i don't know man like i looked i'm looking at our numbers or like the attributes for a lot of these players and like mcmahon i think is a weak link i really do you know numbers are going down the contract is kind of big and i like chris bryant i think ryan hilliard I don't know about him either. You know, Brendan Rodgers, I think, had a pretty decent year last year. Pena's developing. I want to give Montero a shot. We also do have, who's the other first baseman we have? Uh, Taglia. Taglia also looks pretty decent, so we could look to try to give him a shot as well. But a first baseman could be in the could be a, a possibility that we need. Um, and then Campusano, I think, is a young catcher. We give him another season or two. So, realistically, I, I think a third baseman is something that we target. Or we could move... What's his face? Uh, Bryant back to third and look for an outfielder. But based on what I'm seeing, maybe a third baseman is the move, is the move. Um, offensively, I don't like, oh man, free agency's kind of bad this year. And I feel like I get, what's his name so often, Devers so often that picking him up again is kind of boring. He is very good. He is. He is very, very good. It's just, I get him so often that I feel like it it, it does kind of run its course where it's like, man, you keep getting the same players over and over again. So I'm trying to see if there's somebody else that I could pick up that could help us out. Harrison Bader wasn't bad last year. Hmm. Okay. Or we make a trade. Or we make a trade. Um, Outfield isn't something that I'm necessarily looking for because we do have Guzman, who looks like he's going to be decent. We also do have Ramos, who... Power numbers are there, but the vision, discipline, and contact aren't, so I'm a little worried about him. But we do we do have some like we could try out Ramos this year. Because like honestly, I don't expect much from Hilliard. So that that could be something that I do where I just you know rock with Ramos in the outfield at right field, and then we make a flip for a third baseman. And I mean this team is not gonna be any sort of resemblance of former Rockies squad because I'm getting rid of everybody. That just might be what I have to do. All right, we're going to start by picking up Luis Urias of the Brewers. They'd signed Devers, and I thought, you know what? This actually might work out perfectly for us. He hits lefties well. Righties, not so much, but it gives us a little bit of competition for McMahon, who and a little bit of a disappointment. So now, I mean, he can slot in. Ooh, we could we could do something like this. You know, I just, I, ah, man, I don't know. Is he going to be good this year? Or, hold on, what's Montero? 58? I guess I could go like this. He goes to third. Connor Joe goes back to DH. What I could do, we still have a spot open. I go like this, and we throw in our, our crazy prospect, Donnie Ramos, at center for right field. And then we just let Montero face lefties really take advantage of that 
platoon situation that we got going on. Plus, the power versus righties is there. So maybe we could do something like that. And I think this team, I, I mean, I don't really like it still, but you know what? We'll have to wait and see how things go. I did bring in Jordan Hicks and also Miguel Castro. We're going to see how they do. Six mil and 10 mil over a couple of years. I think our bullpen needed a little bit of a, a, a boost. I think those two can help us out. We'll see how the pitching rotation goes. Hopefully it goes well. We're lacking a true ace. That, that is a big thing. And then the budget, you can see we're, we're a little tight on some of the money. Spending 16 mil on two relievers, probably not the best idea. McMahon really needs to prove himself this year. If not, he's out. And that actually opens up a decent bit of money for us to spend. So I don't want to say this is a make or break year for us, but it really is because we've got Diaz, we've got Means. Savale has one more year of arbitration, but could be out the door. Like this is kind of a year where I'm like, this is where I really find out who I like and who I don't like. So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I'm going to mess with this a little bit. We'll throw Urias here, even though it's a no DH lineup. We'll throw Blackman there. He has versus lefties has got to be in too. So how am I going to make this work? Um, I think who's bad versus lefties. Who's no one's really bad versus lefties in this lineup. This is like the one lineup we excel in. Um, I guess Pena, but like I want Pena to develop, so I want him in the lineup as much as possible. Campusano cannot be there. He needs to come down a little bit. Maybe Connor Joe comes out. I know he hits lefties better, but like Urias is really good. So maybe something like oh, Charlie Blackman in center is a nightmare, but <laughs> uh well maybe something like that. Maybe something like that. And then McMahon's still at third. McMahon actually hits lefties worse. So maybe something like that. That works. That works. That's the team. Let's do it. All right. So this draft is juiced. Shortstop with cr crazy good power. Decent fielding, hitting stats. We got this third baseman who looks okay. We got this third baseman who looks insane. And then we've also got this first baseman who looks insane. Who do we go with? Um, yeah, that's that's the tough thing. Let me see. First baseman. He's one of our better scouted players. We've got the shortstop again. One of our better scouted players and then what was the other one i thought he was always oh, a little bit wait where'd he go where'd he go hold on is he really that lower scouted than the rest oh he is is that the third baseman wait oh wait they're all about the same uh-oh i think this one's the best out of all three i think the third baseman's the least so i think it goes first short third so i think we take the first baseman who looks unbelievable i think that's the move i'm gonna take del wit what a name take him hopefully he's good I don't know. At this point, I don't really know if any of our picks are going to make it to the team. Maybe that first baseman, depending on how long this rebuild takes, based on how we've been the last couple of years, this could be forever. I'm going to take this guy. I, honestly, I, I just feel like, oh man, we're just really disappointing. <laughs> I feel like that's just how this rebuild's been. Just super, super disappointing. And uh, we'll take Ishii there. <sighs> man, I think this year's going a little bit better. I could be wrong. I probably am wrong, but we'll we'll have to wait and see. How did we do overall? 89 potential, 74 overall. That's that's insane. That that's probably our first baseman. Great fielding as well. Love to see it. The second pick, not as good, but 77 potential is not bad at all. That could be a solid bullpen arm for sure. 86 potential for Vasquez, 82 potential for Hal Ishii, and then the last two don't worry about them. Don't don't even look at them. All right, at the deadline, we're seven games out of the wild card, and I'm going to go for it. I am. Uh, pitching, we do have a couple eyesores. These two, Rollison has just been called up. He's not really doing it. And there's a couple eyesores in the bullpen as well. So it's, a cl it's clear that pitching is an issue. Offensively, though, Nimmo's great. Connor Joe's doing all right. Um, I'm looking at his numbers. On base percentage is great, though. This is a big issue. He, he's got to go. He's got to go. I've had it. He's got to go. Everybody else, like... I would like the on-base percentage to be a little bit higher for Urias. Clearly a lefty killer, but we'll, we'll make it work. And then Rodgers is also kind of regressing, which I don't really like. Um, actually, I don't know. Uh, yeah, maybe. Payne is not doing that great. Ramos is doing okay. Capusano. Honestly, I just I just don't like McMahon in this team right now. Uh, he's killing me. He's killing me. That's what it is. And itching. Thing is, do I extend any of these pitchers i don't know i don't know and then i definitely need a bullpen arm so bullpen and i think it is time to clear out mcmahon's contract so i think rios moves into the third base spot 
How does or oh, McMahon's been playing first? I still need a righty killer. I don't know if Togli is that guy. He is mashing. Do I give it to him? Or do I maybe like put him into a trade? Uh this is tough because like I really need someone that hits righties. Like I really do. Um Montero's killing it versus lefties, it's just not versus righties. So I'm okay doing a little platoon action. Or like how's Connor Joe? Maybe Connor Joe at first, and then we just get like a crazy, crazy bat. And then kind of work with it that way. Let's see what's available on the block. Is there just like someone that absolutely just I just don't want to pay 20 mil there? That's a big contract when we necessarily don't have the most money. So let's see, let's see. Rizzo, no. Swanson, no. Hernandez, no. I need someone like like CJ Crumb, but better. So let me see if there's a first baseman available. Maybe someone that's like like a Seth Beer, who honestly fits everything that i need a righty killer that that's exactly what i need uh how's vogelbach doing pretty good comes a free agent so like i probably wouldn't have to trade that much twindell's not bad i'm lo I'm really looking for someone that just mashes righties that's really what it is hoskins is regressing pete alonzo what about hira hmm i gotta find somebody I am going to go after Seth Beer. I am going to go after Seth Beer. It does give us a little bit of flexibility too. Because if like things don't go well. And we can just change up the team even more. We can spend some money. But um, now I need to figure out how I want to. Yeah I guess we I guess we do just need better hitters. huh? Like I'm looking at the team. Yeah we just we need better hitters. Like that. that's really what it comes down to. Like that's that is really what it comes down to. Um, Yeah that, that, that really is it. Like, we just need a, a better team. I, I like I like the team, though. I think it's solid. A lot of youngsters. A lot of youngsters. All right, so pitching. Pitching. Do I go after a starter? Does Pierce... Oh, wait. Maybe Pearson over here and then get a starter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. But who? <laughs> Who's a starter that I could go after that probably won't cost too much and is going to be good? I got to find someone that's like really really high potential like that's what i'm looking for someone that's like gonna get better over time because like I, I guess lodolo and i guess pearson are kind of capped right i guess they got b potential though so they will continue to get better hmm i gotta find somebody there's gotta be somebody out there that i can steal from another team that's gonna help us win some games just who 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 i don't know I didn't use Max Meyer in the Miami Marlins rebuild, but he looks to be pretty decent right now. He's having has a 3.7 ERA, kind of better than what we have. I'm gonna trade Brenton Doyle and Ezekiel Tovar. So I think that's fine. Ezekiel, whatever you want to, however you want to pronounce it. All right, so now Rollison needs to get sent down. And where where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Triple A, and we should be good. I honestly think this these moves definitely will help us out. I think next year. Depending on how Connor Joe finishes the season, we'll call up Taglia to be a DH for us. That'll get another lefty in the lineup also. And then I think that'll improve the team a little bit more. We, we're, we're a little bit of like a weird mix of a, like a young team from the bottom half. And then kind of like a younger team too. So like, or wait, a young team and then a young, no, a young team and an older team. We've got some veterans. We've got some youngsters. But I, I don't know. It's, it's a weird team. It is a weird team. I'm not going to lie. This is a This is a strange rebuild um i honestly thought we were gonna do better than what we did um and we just aren't that's the big killer so hopefully this is good enough to get us the wild card spot all right so 86 and 76 didn't make the postseason but at least it's a step in the right direction right let me let me see where we were seven games out so we were actually next in line for the wild card spot it's just you know the phillies and the padres decided to win close to 100 games so there's that the dodgers won 123 games oh okay all right, um, team stats. I just kind of want to see where we rank, see if we started moving up the ladder. And we did, you know, 11th for batting average. What about runs? Okay, so 13th. Okay, so this is actually what I wanted to see. I wanted to see us improve, and it looks like that's what we're doing. We're we're in the top half for, like, everything. What about home runs? Okay, not, not the top half there. Okay, runs batted in. I guess this is a little bit more important. 13th. So, yeah, we're, we're kind of middle of the pack, but that's... An improvement on what we've been doing where we've been kind of hanging towards the bottom especially in rbis and runs so that's a good thing to see awards walker bueller and jordan we've got manoa and bueller as the cy young winners Mookie Betts and corey seager as the batting title fulmer and edwin 
as the relievers of the year. I mean, a lot of saves going on in the American League there. Some pretty insane stat lines from what I'm seeing. Rookie of the year goes to Jonathan Aranda, as well as Sean Bouchard, who I believe was with us. So he must have been a Rule 5 pick for the Orioles. I missed that part. That he got taken from us. That makes sense. I was wondering why our outfield, besides like our outfield, did look a little thin from previous years. So maybe, maybe someone did get snagged there from the Rule 5 pick. So Nate Pearson really struggling. I'm hoping we can kind of start to see what Nate Pearson can do. Maybe, oh, 59 stamina. Maybe he is a long reliever. Maybe he is a long reliever for sure. You know, Gilbreth has been fantastic for us. Danner, I'm, I'm okay with those numbers. I'm okay with those numbers. Fernandez, Henley, Hicks. Rodriguez didn't pitch at all this year. One inning, but, and then Castro. So realistically, I'm pretty happy with the bullpen. You know, you look at the starters as well. savali has got one more year of arbitration. Means was fantastic. Sixto was great. You know, Lodolo, not bad for a four. And same thing with Meyer at the five. I mean, this could be the rotation moving forward along with Pearson. Maybe John. Yeah, I think. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. All right. So who got sent down? Seth Beer. Man. All right. Maybe Michael Togli is the guy. Maybe he is that man that takes over for first base. It, it could be. We've also got Guzman. Who I like. I like those stats. Like we've got some young guys who could come up and help us out i mean we've got we've got some youngsters we got some youngsters charlie blackman looks i think his time has kind of run his course montero on base percentage is low but like ops and average versus lefties is killer so like he looks to be that lefty guy for us what else we have um nothing really <laughs> nothing really uh nimmo is regressing which is not good <laughs> but still putting up good numbers Connor Joe, great year, 30 home runs. All right, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, yikes. Uh, Chris Bryant was great. You know, that's okay. I was expecting better. <laughs> Pena wasn't great. Ramos, not bad. Not great, but not bad. Right. I'm expecting low average, low on base percentage with those attributes. Um, but plus 14 versus lefties is killer. And then Campusano is improving. So that's good to see. So we definitely, what is this position? First base? So first base could be in the mix. Or I give it to Taglia. And I think, I mean, honestly, a 281 average isn't bad. It's just on base percentage is so low. So low. Um, I don't know what to do with that. Again, I don't hate the team. It's just competing in the West. I guess we need to step up our game just a little bit more. I guess that's something I really didn't take into consideration is that we're facing the Dodgers, we're facing the Padres, we're facing the Giants, we're facing even the Diamondbacks, I think are pretty decent. Let me, let me take a look here. Let's take a look, let's see what do we got. We got the Dodgers, obviously the Padres, you know, they're gonna be good. The Giants look okay. You know, you look at the, the Diamondbacks, they look okay, but like, yeah, I mean, we, we need to step up our game. That's that's the big thing. And I think I've just been playing it too, too safe. That's the big thing, too safe. So. I think it's time to take it to the next level. Just be really, really serious about winning. And that means I, I think John Means is great and all. All right, whatever. We'll we'll bump it up to this. Give him a player option. 12 mil. That's fine. And then, yeah, maybe I just need to be a little bit more aggressive in our signings and everything. But let's see what we can do. All right, so I went a little crazy this offseason. You're going to see why. I went after Walker Bueller. I thought, you know what? If the Dodgers want him, no, 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 no. Well, let's weaken the Dodgers. Let's bring in Walker Bueller. We still have Mean Savale, Sixto, and Lodolo. We've got Max Meyer over here. And then Nate Pearson, I'm like, you know what? Let's try him in the bullpen. See how it works. We've still got the rest of our bullpen arms. I think this looks very good. I think this is, this is the move. This is the move. And then lineup, I was like, you know what? Carlos Correa. Jeremy Pena hasn't been doing it for us at shortstop. If we're going to go big, we might as well just completely bankrupt the team. So let's go with Carlos Correa at shortstop. And this is our team now. I think that looks a lot better. There are still some low rated 70s. There are still some. Oh, wait, no, Ellis. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. Where is Seth Beer? I mean, maybe, maybe that's the right move. Maybe Taglia. We'll have to wait and see how things pan out. That's the team. There we go. Ooh, first lefties. I think I have it right. I think this is how I want it. Yes. 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 That's the team. There it is. In all its glory. We are currently ranked 13th middle of the pack, but the contact looks nice. I think I think this is the team to really compete with everybody. This is the squad for sure. 
So we're a wild card team, 89 and 73. Not as good as I was hoping. I'm not going to lie. I thought we were going to be a little bit better. I really did. I really did. Again, you know, we do have to, oh, uh, like, I mean, the division's great, right? Like, you're looking at it. I, I was expecting 90 wins. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, wild card's great. You know, I thought this was going to be a team that could do that. But, like, I don't know, man. I was expecting more. I really was. Runs were in the top 10. Hits were in the sec were second. You know, runs batted in were fifth. Like, we're a great offensive team. Maybe it's the, the, the pitching that's letting us down. We got a gold glove, Danny Ramos. There we go. Tatis and Mike Trout are the MVPs. Manoa and Bieber are the Cy Young winners. You got Bryce Harper and Mike Trout as the batting title winners. Uh, I guess I could have taken a seat. 55 home runs, 42 home runs, pretty impressive. Reliever of the year goes to Stallmont and Bednar. Bednar, I just, I, I gotta get him. Clearly, he's the guy to get. He's clearly the guy to get. So, all right, we'll, we'll take a look at that. So, this changed. Um, what did Meyer do this year? Kind of what he's been doing previous years. So, it's not like, I'm like too upset with it. And then, I also made DJ Hers a reliever. That's why his rating kind of dropped a little bit. Overall... Bowden, Gilbreth took a little bit of a step back. You know, Danner was good. Pearson was fantastic in this role. That's that's good to know. Manny, Manuel Rodriguez, we've got... Wow, that's not good. Neither was that. And Kat, Oh, wow. Our bullpen kind of sucked. Huh? <laughs> our bullpen was pretty bad. Uh, let's call back up Max Meyer. And then we'll send down who needs to be sent. I think it was Bowden. Oh, uh, that's not good. Who else needs to be sent down? Oh, Fernandez. Fernandez does. So who was sent down offensively? I mean, we have this Guzman guy that we didn't even use, and he looks insane. But who was it? Sosa that was sent down? It was. All right. Let's call him back up, and then we'll send down Fernandez. Not looking too great bullpen-wise, so that's a big worry for sure. Uh, maybe we flip those around. Bueller was great. Love that we paid a stupid amount of money for that. Uh... Meads was all right. You know, Savali was okay. Sixto was pretty good. And then, oh man, just pitching. So clearly, I just, clearly pitching just wasn't good enough. You know, I, I honestly thought with that team, we would have done better. Uh, honestly, that's that's really what I thought. Oh, so Veen got called up. Who am I missing? Oh, the third baseman, Shunk. I think that's his name. Was that who I'm missing? Right? Yeah, that's who I'm missing, right? Am I blind? Is, is Am I just not seeing him? Yeah, here he is. No, who am I missing? Who? Paglia. That's who I'm missing. Ah, uh, yeah, that's... That makes sense. That's not great. Um, Do I call him... I guess I... I guess we just... We, let's just leave it. Veen can stay in the team. That's fine. I, I have faith in him. Servin was a backup catcher. I'm not expecting much. Not great from Pena. Montero wasn't as good as he was last year. And Sosa was whatever. All right. So bench was bad. Nimmo still kind of the 350 on base percentage. But he is regressing. So contract kind of ending at the right time. Brendan Rodgers. I mean, I guess he is improving. But at the same time, he's not, not really on base percentage wise. Ah, no, he is. He is improving. Okay. So that's good. He is improving. He is improving. Correa was fantastic. You know, we paid big money for him. So that's good to see. Bryant was great, 40 home runs. Urias definitely took a step up, which is great to see. Connor Joe still putting up a good average and on base percentage. Danny Ramos looks unbelievable, by the way. Holy cow. Yeah, I think we hit a gem there. That's a good one for sure. Seth Beer was great. Glad we kept him in that first base spot. Campusano, I will take that all day. And then Nimmo, like I said, was a little bit of a disappointment. I'm not gonna lie. That, that, that was a little bit of a disappointment. And I think I think we're I think we're looking good though. Like overall, I'm pretty happy. I just don't like the pitching. I think this is where we're really in trouble. This is probably what's gonna let us down. All right, so our only game of the postseason. If we lose, can we do it? We win. Now we're gonna be taking on Dodgers, man. The Dodgers, the Dodgers, the Dodgers. This is not ideal at all. I mean, this is this is a tough lineup. Like, how are they this good? Turner, Freeman, Betts, Will Smith, Bellinger. But I mean, it's it, it's just the Dodgers, man. There's their farm systems stacked. There's like it, it's just it's just they got Jack Flaherty, Gialli. Oh lord, I uh, if we win, this is a miracle. This is gross. 
that that's a gross team that like that that sh that shouldn't be like how how are how how are they affording all those contracts okay i mean i'm expecting losses right like there's one there's a 10 to nothing whoa hey wait a second eight to six 16 to one what let's take a look here let's take a look here three rbis for nimmo six for ramos six for ramos ramos with two home runs is this this has to be the year we're facing the cubs next and i mean the cubs are in the postseason so clearly they've got a lineup what do we got here what do we have madrigal horner it's all Marte. that's right they did trade for him suarez seth brown Cliff Frazier, Ty France, Brandon Davis. Honestly, this, this is nowhere near the team we just beat. Like, this is a team that we should beat. The bullpen looks really, really good. But, like, this is a team that we should just ease past. All right. The Cubs, we lose the first two. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. There we go. We're in the World Series taking on the Astros. And let's take a look. What do we have for the Astros? We got to move across like the whole league to see what their lineup looks like. Robert, JP Croft. Wow, this is a, like a brand new team. Yeah, that's a brand new team. Um, we'll take a look at their pitching as well. I guess this is probably the easier way to do it. Oh, they got Marquez. Okay, okay. And then I don't, I don't know. I'm feeling good about this one. I mean, the pitching rotation probably needs to be shuffled a little bit. John Means is up, so maybe him here um I, oh, wow walker bueller's getting shelled but i'm thinking something like that maybe not maybe not maybe who pitched last i who pitched last savale pitched last so do i want who hold on okay so savale so who who's up right now john means is up so instead maybe we go six to bueller savale means lodolo all right world series time all right, World Series time. Sixto started off right for us. He doesn't. Okay, great. But Bueller gets us back in it. Savale wins it. John Means wins it. And it is time to win it at home. Do we have something that we could wear that would be like, yeah, that's what I want to wear. The purples, I guess. Yeah, let's rock the purples. Let's rock the purples at home. Coors Field. And let's go Sixto. I mean, the guy's been bringing it. Might as well do it, right? So one, two, three inning. Perfect. Any, any runners for us? No, none at all. Jordan scares me the most in this lineup. Like, that makes sense, right? Danny Ramos, fielder's choice. I couldn't bring in the run there, unfortunately. So, we get out of that. Um, guy on first. I mean, pretty pretty quiet game so far. And I need the offense to wake up, guys. Come on. Come on. First and third, one out. Bases loaded. Fielder's choice. Two run score. Then Nimmo gets a home run, brings us back within one. Correa ties it two to two. Um, I think I'm going to go to the bullpen here in the seventh. I think that's a smart move. A couple lefties coming up. Let's go Gilbreth. And a two-run home run. Lefty, lefty. Let's bring in Pearson. He gets out of... Man, that two-run home run was rough. It really was. That, that kind of takes the wind out of your sail. Bottom eight, though. We've still got a chance. We still got a chance and it's it's not looking great i'm not gonna lie <laughs> it's not looking great we still do have a couple games but like that's oh <sighs> okay all right we're going to the next game of the series and who do we go with here who do we go with here who is the guy i guess bueller with his eight era you know like not what you want not what you want at all the double uh, home run from moncada a walk. Oh, Montero. Two to one. Two to one. First and third. Can we get a little sack fly? Bring in the run. Small ball it up. Three to one. That's what I like to see. And I mean, no more runs, please. There we go. Get that fly out. Or was that? Yeah, that was them. Okay. I thought for a second that was us. And I was talking like we were pitching. Anyways, Danny Ramos goes deep after he brought in a run in the sack fly or on a sack fly last time he was up. Makes it four to two now. Thanks to a Matt Beatty home run or a Matt Beatty home run. Ha. Ah, four to two. Guy on first, no outs. Double play. Not ideal, but Connor Joe playing right field for us in this lineup. Makes it five to two. Of course, we don't we don't get any more runs there, but you know what? 
I'm liking what I'm seeing. Things are looking great. Walker Bueller, get us out of this inning. I think seven's good there. I think we go to the bullpen after this. Yeah, I think we do. All right, let's go with, let's see, righty, lefty switch. All right, let's go Castro. 5-4. Let's get an insurance run. Carlos Correa, just what I was asking for. And uh, I'll take that all day. All right. It comes down to Jordan Hicks. Can he close out the game with a two-run lead? There it is. The Rockies win the World Series. I believe that's the first in their history. Um, I think that is. Um, I, I think. I think. Could I Could I be wrong? Um, no, they... No, yeah, they are. They are. Yeah, yeah. They have, yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep, yep. There it is. The first one in their in their in their history. We won it. It took four years. It took stacking the lineup, spending way too much money. But you know what? We did it. Like I'm talking, it says we have 22 available for the budget. That is like heading into the offseason. I have 22 mil to spend. That is not a lot of money at all. So that kind of shows you I really put this team in financial crisis to get us to this point. So Brendan Rogers was your World Series MVP. Campusano was your playoff MVP. And I, I mean, it was kind of like a waiting game. You know, we had some young players. We just needed them to develop a little bit. Like Brendan Rodgers, he was kind of quiet. Like he wasn't bad. It was just the on-base percentage was really keeping him low. For the most part, you know, we just got to wait a little bit. And he, you know, he provided in that last year. Same thing with Danny Ramos. We kind of waited. We waited for him to be ready. And look what he does. He puts up a pretty good year. Campusano, Seth Beer we brought in. Chris Bryant continued to develop for us. You know, we had Brandon Nimmo to be our leadoff guy. We really had to change up this team a lot, like a lot. You know, we don't really, we, we don't have a single pitcher originally from them in the rotation. The bullpen, we had a couple here and there, but this, this was one of those that like, it started off okay, it went terribly, it took a huge nose dive, and then we brought it back here in year four. So a, a lot to, a lot to digest in these four years, as you can see, but we did it. We finally did it, World Series for the Rockies, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoy the content. Of course, in the comment section, let me know that disappointing team or player for you. Catch you all in the next one. Did you enjoy today's video? If you did, I've got another one for you right here. Boom. Right there. Check it out. It's going to be great. Recommend this one.